Hello everyone, welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda. Today I'm out here in my garden and the first thing that I want to get done is to get the chicken's wings clipped. They, they've been getting out in the garden when I don't want them in the garden and so I am going to go ahead and get those wings clipped so that the only time they can be able to get out is when I come out and let them out. It's for their safety and so that they won't eat up all the vegetables in the garden. So y'all, let's get started. Yeah, while this looks like it hurt, it really does not. So you simply are looking for these long wings like these. And these are the ones that you want to remove. So she has recently had hers clipped, probably because she was getting out. And so she just had a few that obviously has grown back or that I missed when I clipped them. Okay. Careful. Okay, so these are the wings that you are looking for, the ones that are the longest. And there's not very much in those wings, like, it doesn't hurt the chicken to get those wings clipped. They don't like it, but, cause they know that they're not gonna be able to fly away. Okay, sorry about getting that wing clipped. He went in there and tried to hide. Okay, you can let him down. Go play. Hey, Blanche. Hey, girl. Blanche says she's ready to see her baby. We're going to bring your babies out here and let them see you, Blanche, okay? We're ready to see your babies. You know how I know who Blanche is? What? She looks so raggedy because she been doing that little fruity chick thing and she just looks so raggedy, but that's all right. She's still a beauty, yes she is. Oh. Hi girl. Hi Hilda. What you doing? There you go girl. Okay, all the chickens have got their wings clipped and now I am just about to do some work in the yard, but I just wanted to show you all this golden rod. This is a medicinal plant, and I have it growing in a lot of different areas in my yard, and it has a lot of uh, medicinal purposes. So if you would like to find those medicinal purposes out, because I am not a doctor, and if you are interested, uh, check out the medicinal purposes of golden rod. Okay, y'all, it's time to go back in. Who wants some soldier fly lava? Drop Tara, soldier fly lava. There you go. 
We have a two day total of 13 eggs. Okay, you all, I found a new type of bedding. Well, it's new to me. I don't know if you all know about it, but it's called fly away. It has a all natural oil fly repellent in it. There are no pesticides. And so I am going to try it out to see how well it works. Really, I don't have, I have never had a lot of flies out here. What I do have are ants, and I have been uh, putting diatomaceous earth out here to uh, keep the ant population down, and it has been working uh, very well. But I am going to try this product. This is not a sponsored product. It is just something that I uh, decided I would try since it costs the same as the one that I have been using. And one thing that I'm seeing that I like already is that it is fine shaves. I like the fine shaves more than I like those large shavings for my bedding. So I am going to give it a try and I will let you all know if I notice any difference. So it is an all natural oil. Let me see if there are any ingredients listed on here. I don't see what the ingredients listed, but I will Google it. But from the smell of it, it smells like maybe tea tree and eucalyptic. But I will Google it and be sure. Okay, so the chickens have fresh water, food, and fresh bedding. And they have their wings clipped.
Well, I didn't think it was gonna be any good and I decided to open it up for the chickens, but it looked like it really is some good. Hmm. Well, too late. The chickens get to get this one. Okay, I am gonna see what is salvageable in this bed and what needs to be thrown on the compost pile. This is not even in this bed. It is just this is a tomato, yes it is, this tomato plant goes to this bed and it is hanging on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Add some tomatoes on it that look very good. A lot of them. Okay, this is one, another one that I may have acted too quickly on. But I can remove these green tomatoes and use them. Go ahead and move the steak. Here is a Brussels sprout. Bearing fruit. I'm gonna let the chickens have that one. And I'll take this one. And then we have some poke in the bed. This is some Swiss chard. Go ahead and remove this plant. And there's a frog. Okay, so that bed is cleaned out. I'm going to leave the eggplant since it is still looking good and still bearing fruit. Um, this Brussels sprout is still got some sprouts on it, but I'm going to remove it because that is what I'm fixing to plant in this bed. I'm fixing to put some fresh, new Brussels sprouts in the bed. I'm going to take this, give it to the chickens right now. Not even gonna take it away from my hand. 
They'll love this. Okay, this bed has a lot of good compost in it. Has a big frog in it. Get out of there, frog. Probably gonna be some peas growing in here called purple hull peas that got into this bed. Purple hull pea shells right here. And there are a lot of roots in this bed. A lot of, some of them coming from this eggplant, which I refuse to remove right now. Go ahead and add some amendments to this soil. Amendments that I'm adding are the blood meal. And some garden tone. I'm going to plant some Brussels sprouts in this bed. Now I'm going to put seven of them in here. This bed is going to be filled with Brussels sprouts. Now, I don't want to just go ahead and get a lot of my plants planted out into the garden because if you leave those plants into the in these little cups, they're not going to get any bigger. This is as big as they're going to get in these containers. So when you put them out in the garden, you'll see that they will go ahead and just grow. They will get huge fast. And Brussels sprouts need to be planted out because it takes a while for Brussels sprouts to uh, give you a give you some fruit. So you want to go ahead and get those Brussels sprouts in. That is why I am trying to get my Brussels sprouts planted out. And this bro this bed is going to be filled with Brussels sprouts because these are going to take off. So now I'm going to water them in.
And this is my peppermint plant right here, and I am fixing to go ahead and cut it back. And there are so many seeds on it. I'm going to cut it down because it has gone to seed. Being careful not to cut my irrigation. Moving some of this other stuff out of the way so I can see what I am doing. Okay, so all of these are seeds on here. And the plant smells wonderful. Okay, now I'm going to put one of these, I'm gonna put some of these hoops over my raised bed so I can be ready to put one of the covers over it to protect it from the cabbage moth. So, this is how I assemble these. And these are from last season. And so far, I've only found one that was not still, I don't know, it's still, I might be able to use it if I just use it from the other end. So you just connect these hoops like this. Let me make sure that you all can see me. Okay, so what I'm doing Okay, so what I'm doing is I am connecting these, call these bars, with these metal connectors. And I found one that was not still good, but I think I may be able to use it on the other end. I don't know if I want to risk it. Because these things are real springy, and if they pop back, they can hurt you. So I think I'm just going to put that one out of the way so I won't use it. Because I do not want to get popped with this. Okay, so you just connect them like this. And I think I need to put one, two, three, four. Four is the length that I need, so I'm just going to add one more of these rods that's what they are i call them bars but this is a rod so i'll add this rod and then i'm going to go down to the bed and you just put one end of the bar in down into the soil and then you carefully bend it so that it does not spring back and pop you. Okay, so now I have another bed that is ready. I could put a, another one over there, but I'm probably gonna go back because after I did it, I realized that I could get by with using just two rods on some of these. Some of them might have to have three, but I don't wanna use more than I need to. Okay, so I still have two uh rods left and i sh i hopefully have some more rods laying around here but i'm gonna uh go ahead and cover this bed so when the chickens get out they will not be able to come this is a, a one less bed that they'll be able to get to and also the cabbage moth one less uh bed that the cabbage moth will be able to get to i found one lots of matter plant i want to go ahead and put it in here which i have some more over there but i'm just gonna put one in here one lots and not a kale. I'm just gonna tuck it in. And give it some water.
And I'm gonna spread this two over it. Over this bed. And I have planted both of these beds. I may have enough too to go over both of these beds. Y'all know I'm always trying to stretch this too. I'm just trying, I'm trying very hard, but it's probably not gonna work. For a simple reason is because of this gap that's in between these two, if something wanted to come in in here, it could get in through this gap. So I don't think that that is gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and cover this bed and I'm going to use these bricks for right now because it is getting late and I don't have my I don't have my my pins to pin this down. So I'm just going to for now put these bricks here to hold this fabric down. I think my pen, I think they're right back here. And I do have some extra fabric over here. And I think that there still might be enough fabric to go over this other bed because this other raised bed is small. But uh, that is gonna do it for right now. So I hope that you all have enjoyed this video today and that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.